सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ अभिजीत एंड यू आर वाचिंग कोड कीन सो टुडे आप प्रोजेक्ट विल बी वेरी ऑसम वी विल क्रिएट अ रेस्टोरेंट सर्च ऐप व्हिच विल गेट द रेस्टोरेंट व्हिच इफ यू विल पास द किलोमीटर एंड पास द पास द पिन कोड इट विल जस्ट फेच ऑल द रेस्टोरेंट्स विच आर नी अबाउट दिस पिन कोड एंड दिस किलोमीटर बेस्ड ऑन दिस पिन कोड एंड किलोमीटर सो लेट सपोज आई एड अ पिन कोड ट्वेंटी टू ओके and then if i search the uh, matlab what you can say kilometer and kilometer the, i got these many restaurant uh, zero this one this restaurant this spicy restaurant is 0 km away from my from this pin code and mood bakers is 2 km and worldwide the restaurant is around 5 km okay so what if i restrict the kilometer to uh, 2 km uh, do i don't want to go 9 km away or something around around uh, like that so if i search again this one so this again comes to 0 km and 2 km km so there is an api which i hit this api slash get it returns all the restaurant and all the restaurants are placed in the django admin panel okay so we are what we are using we are using view js for front end as you can see uh, we are using view js so let's start this coding okay at we will sh we should start coding so first of all what i have done uh, i have installed i have created a restaurant project uh, which has very minimalistic setup right now and we have in it uh, esgi settings url wsgi basically we ha i have already installed the django and created one of the app which is home and nothing uh, more than that you can see i haven't added Yet added urls dot py. So first of all, let's register this app in our installed app list. Okay, so we can add it over here. What we can add it? We can call it a home, and uh, we can add one urls dot py in this specific app. Okay, so let's uh, include this urls dot py in this main app urls dot py. Okay. so what we can do is we can just use copy paste this one and remove extra code and we can again go back to our urls.py and include our project okay project uh, app level urls for that we have to include import include okay so path uh, this will be a specific this path and we can include home dot urls okay so we have we are now good to go and we can create a template folder inside an app where we can we can call it templates okay so this should be templates we can re, we have to rename this specific folder template and we have to create a paste.html file okay so right now we are good to go and we can just create a one view which will render the home html dev home for the, for now and we can just return render request and the template name will be home.html so we haven't created a home.html yet so we can create a home.html home.html and which will inherit from base.html that's the reason we have why we have created base.html and for base.html we can just copy the bootstrap starter code which will you can get the starter code by hitting the first of all first link by searching the bootstrap okay so we can write here django restro uh, this will be the name of the of our project and we have imported bootstrap we can create a block content your block start what you can say is open the block content flag and end block and we can extend this template from in home.html okay extends base dot to html so right now we are good to go and we can we just open our tag blog start what we have named is block content okay uh, here will be it will be block content and and block okay so all the html will be come will arrive here let's make sure our uh, we should we have added in our urls let's import our views from dot views import uh, all okay and the first path will be this one which will directly hit the views so the views not uh, which will directly hit the home and the name it's let's name this one home 
so let's hope everything working fine and our server is also running but uh, not we should reload our server now the server is boot up let's hit the url and we go we are good to go so we will import uh the as you know our html is very minimalistic so we will just um, uh, use the first of all nav bar which will be very simple we will just have to write the um, okay so let's go to base.html and uh, place it over here and uh, i will use a primary color primary color for my nav bar primary and i will add a shadow property which i will definitely you will like and uh, i think uh, bg primary is not working nav bar should be dark and why the bg primary is not working oh right now it's working and we can add a shadow property it's give uh, it gives a light shadow over here you can see that and uh, we can add a container property over here or okay so uh, basically minimalistic setup is not done we can add django restro over here django restro so uh for the for for showing our restaurant we will use a bootstrap card we can search for the card over here card okay and i will use this card this one looks very beautiful and we will use uh, the card will come from front end but we have to create dev class of container and we will just place it over here okay dev class of row and uh, dev class of call of md of 4 okay so as you know bootstrap uses for 12 grid column and we have occupied four grids okay and we can place our html over here and just reload the page maybe image will be missing and we can add a image from pexel it's a very beautiful website uh, you must have to check out and we can add a shadow property over there because i like shadow property very much okay let's once more reload this page and you can add a, it's added a very type of box shadow property using css and we can add a margin top of five and a pt of five uh, for the to get some space over there okay and uh, we can search a restaurant image from here restaurant okay mm, we couldn't find because my i have typo mistake food we can search food okay so we can this use this image and open this and we just have to place this image over here so are uh, the now we uh, now page are looking uh, page is looking very good we have to just add some restaurant name over here uh, maybe what we can say radhe shyam restaurant okay radhe shyam okay so we will write uh, 20 kilometers over here it's uh, five uh, we can add five kilometer and here it will come the description of the restaurant what restaurant has added okay so our uh, this one is also done so what we have to add we have to add one form over here which will uh, take kilometers and uh, your pin code okay so for that we can create again use forms in django sorry forms in bootstrap and uh, form will be very minimalistic and we can add i have also seen one more range uh, input box so we can use this one also because this is also looking great uh, steps why doesn't show the kilometer range what we can show hmm we can use this one or we can use this one also we can create a custom form we will not use this one okay class of uh, 
what you can say we can add uh, a class of a row okay so dev class of call call of md of sorry call of md of six uh, we can add six or we can add four okay so for that we can add uh, input class oh my god i'm very okay so input class uh, placeholder will be uh, end up in code end up in code okay so let's see what we are getting by writing this as kind of html so again we have to add some margin of top and this one also five so what we have got uh, end up in code and again we have to add one more for field which will be of uh, what you can say it will be of uh, something uh, uh, optional field we can add our option field over here uh, select class of form control form control and again we have to add some option over here option will be value of one and uh, it will be of uh, one km one kilometer km stands for kilometer and we can add two for the uh, right now we are adding only two kilometers uh, again we will add some more thing okay so we can also add a label property over here which will definitely make a ui very good minimalistic and good so for that we can add over here and the pin code okay and the pin code and uh, here we can write label of mm, select kilometer we can add hana? select kilometer km okay so what uh, we can add now we can add a button over here so when when the user will click this button this will hit the api okay so we can add a button class of btn btn of success and uh, we can add submit over here uh, let's again reload our page so it's adding some padding because of label we haven't added so we can what we can do is we can add uh, a label over here or we can add a margin top what you can see so it's not working so definitely we have to add some margin top empty of three okay again reload this page uh, it's working fine but we have to add some more let's not uh, work on this okay so now it's working very fine so what we have to do we are fr complete front end is now ready now let's get into the back end side so for back end we will create first of all we have to import one library which will convert a pin code into a latitude and longitude okay library which will be geopy so installing geopy we can write geopy pypy pypy okay so this is the library which we are going to use in our project so let's install this library pep install geopy and we have to import it in our virtual environment okay so when the library is installing let's create our model so the class will be restaurant restaurant r e s t r a u n t restaurant which will definitely inherit more models dot model and the restaurant restaurant must have restaurant name okay so name will be of 100 and uh, description it's can it can have a description field text field definitely and image for image we will you we are we will not be using any file we will just use image link for that we can also have it over here care field and the max length of this one can be 500 okay so now we have to <coughs> we have our latitude and this will be our care field okay so again max length can be of uh, 20 because it can go around uh, 3 to 5 decimal points and again a field will be of lawn long latitude and longitude okay but the both will will field will be of null because we will use a library to create a latitude and longitude for the, this particular restaurant okay so latitude and longitude and again it will be of null equal to true and a blank of equal to true 
and again it should be blank equal to true hmm so uh the this one is ready and we have to override our save method this will call the library and uh, library will create latitude and longitude for that for specific for that specific uh pin code okay so this will also this can also have a pin code field which will be models dot model cal cal field and max length can be of 10 okay so now we will override the save method so we can write def save and uh, it takes uh, what you can say is it takes a self and uh, arcs and quarks okay so let's uh, call our library and uh, import our library so this is the import code and uh, we have to user agent okay so definitely we can add it over here and specify i can add i n over here and uh, for calling this api we can we have to use create a variable geo locator and we can add this one over here okay geo locator equal to this one nomiton user agent so zip code will come from pen code and uh, what we can do is geo locator dot geo code geo locator dot geo code okay and we just have to pass the pen code self dot dot pin code self dot pin code and uh, for location uh, we can add uh, self dot pin code we can add location okay so we can add a latitude and longitude by adding the self it self dot lat will be location of latitude location dot latitude lati latitude and uh, self dot lawn will be location dot longitude and uh, we have to just save this method after calling this one so we can add a super method over here super restaurant self dot save with arcs and quarks <coughs> okay so we can add a def un underscore underscore str method return self dot name so let's create one restaurant by creating a and in going into our admin panel python manage dot py uh, make migrations python manage dot p y migrate python manage dot p y python manage dot p y create super user and the power user name will be admin and password will be one two three okay so our uh, super user is also created we can run our server and register this restaurant app in our admins.py so from dot models import all and admin dot site dot register admin dot site dot register restaurant so let's go into the admin panel and let's hope everything works fine admin one two three uh restaurant app is there so let's name this restaurant uh, spicy restaurant okay so description we can add lorem ipsum and for image we have we can again go to our pexel website or we can copy the image which we have copied earlier from this page
okay and the pen code will be 226020 let's hit the save editing method and let's see what we get service timed out why this has happened uh, done two things wrong over here first of all this will not be in the in it will be geo exercises we have to add the name of the provider so for that we will add geo api e exercises e x e r c i s e s okay then again the pen code should be in integer format for that we have to type cast this into an integer we, because we are using it over uh, in a cast field so we have to type cast let's again cross a finger and and add one more restaurant so the name again will be spicy restro and uh, lorem epsom and for image we can add again that image for pin code we can add one pin code so now again service timed out service timed out let's just again reload this page let's check our code it's geo exercise the geo location again again reload up the code is looking fine uh let's check our net is working or not our net is also working let's again i think at uh, that time our net was not, was not working that's the reason why it has so you can see uh, we have got a latitude and longitude for that particular restaurant and again we will add one more restaurant over here excel and uh, the name of the restaurant will be metro restro and again it will take lorem epsom okay oh, and we or we can add some lorem epsom from the demo text website okay food again we will search for the food so just copy this lorem epsom and just paste it over here and again for image we can use any of the image this one okay for pen code this will and uh, this time i will change my pen code Okay, let's again hit the save continue editing button. So now this time pin code has arrived. So let me add ten to fourteen restaurant, and again we I will come back. So I had added four of the restaurant. Let's create the API where we will get uh, all the details about the restaurants. Okay, so we can create a API over here. Def API. and we can take a request parameter and we can import json response from django dot http uh, import json response okay and we have to import our models also from dot models import all and uh, we have to query in our uh, restaurant model so we can add a restaurant obj over here restaurant underscore obj equal to restaurant dot objects dot all okay so we have added restaurant dot object dot all and again we have to create a json response for that for this we can add create a payload list and we can loop over the restaurant obgs and add the append all the things over here so we can add from for restaurant obj in restaurant obgs we can add create a list uh, we can add a dictionary 
and we can append the result dot name is equal to obj dot name okay and uh, result dot uh, what we can say image is equal to restaurant dot image and again restaurant dot description will be restaurant dot description and uh, we can add the pin code result of pin code will be result underscore obj dot pin code and we can append this result dictionary into the into our payload and we can just simply return the json response and uh, json response will be payload and for this we have to add a safe parameter is equal to false and uh, we have to add it into our urls so path will be api slash get and again api name will be of api let's call this api okay let's call this api over here api slash get it should be Mm -hmm. it should be get and we are getting all the restaurant detail in our json response and uh, we have to add uh, if we are getting what we can see if we are getting any pin code over here we have to get it by uh, pin code is equal if we add a pin code of 2260 of 20 we have to get this pin code in our backend for that for that we will use a query string to get a to get query string in django it's very simple we can add a pin code is equal to uh, request dot get dot get of pin code pin code and we can just print it out over here pin code okay let's reload our page and see we are getting up in code or not so we can see we are getting up in code is 22 60 and 20 so again what we can do is if we are getting the pin code we have to uh, calculate the distance from this pin code for that we have so for calculating the distance uh, if we are getting the pin code we will call this one if there is a pin code if there is a pin code then we can use we can again we have to import one more thing from geopy and from geopy from geopy dot uh, distance import great circle great underscore of circle okay uh, from geopy uh, it should be distance of a small again uh, import great circle again okay so now we have to use this uh, function to calculate our distance so we will if we are getting the pin code we will append pin uh, distance distance is equal to great circle of uh, what we have to pass with the pin code uh, first of all we have to generate the pin code the latitude and longitude from this pin code so what we can do is if we are getting the pin code then we can create two variable user lat equal to none and again of again of user of lawn equal to none okay okay so we have already written the code for calculating the uh, for getting the pin what you can say if we are uh, getting the latitude and longitude so again we will re reuse that pin that function that uh, so we have to pass the pin code okay then just we have to update our variables with this one okay so now our function is now ready so if there is distance we can 
pass uh, convert into the float user lat uh, we can create one variable if I we have to pass it in the tuple so, okay so what we can do is first of all we have to pass the user lat and then the user long and the second pin code will be again a tuple and uh, we can get those things from here dot lat dot lawn so again we have to convert into the float otherwise we will get some error float again typecast uh, this into the float float okay then all we have to just pass over here first and this one will be second dot and miles so it will return the pen code let's again reload the page so we are getting the kilometers okay uh, it's 5 kilometer 23 and again if we add change the pin code 22 then this is the closest restaurant 0 kilometer 23 kilometer 2 kilometer 5 kilometer so uh, the API is working fine and what we can and add is restrict a kilometer if uh, and km is equal to 5 so again what we can do is so if uh, what we can do is we can create a km is equal to request dot get dot get if we are getting kilometer km then uh, we have to just add if km okay if there is a km and uh, if this one is less than kilometer then we have to append it over here otherwise it should not append and again let's add 5 kilometer and let's reload our API so what and support it between float and str so float and str so it should be in uh dot miles we have to calculate the kilometers is equal to just again copy this one if kilometers is less than uh float of kilometer then it should add over here or otherwise it shouldn't add it so let's reload our page so now it's only sending the pin code which are this in this range so we can add this one okay so if uh, there is a pin code else okay else let's just wait a second just if uh, there is a pin code what we can add it over here we have to just uh, skip this one step okay oh if uh, then payload dot append Hmm. otherwise what we can do is we can add this one over here so we can have we can calculate the distance hmm. we can calculate the distance and uh, we can calculate the distance and we can remove that particular item so if there is a kilometer 
एफ किलोमीटर है ना एफ देर इज किलोमीटर एफ किलोमीटर एंड एफ रिजल्ट ऑफ डिस्टेंस इज लेस देन इज ग्रेटर देन फ्लोट ऑफ किलोमीटर देन वी कैन जस्ट रिमूव दैट पर्टिकुलर आइटम फ्रॉम द द फ्रॉम द लिस्ट ओके payload dot append result and if this is a case we have to just pop out the particular item from that index such case uh, whose distance is greater than the kilometer which is passed in the query string we have to just pop the last element from that particular item okay so payload dot pop of pop so what it will do is it will just pop the last element from the index if the kilometer is greater than that particular item okay so let's test this out if we don't pass the kilometer so it will return all the restaurants and if we we'll, if we restrict the kilometer if we pass 3 kilometer then and uh, invalid and for 2260 okay it should be we have passed the wrong query string so it just restrict the kilometer which is true and if we pass 9 so it just restrict the kilometer which is uh, it it only sends the result which are <coughs> in below 9 kilometers so 0 2 and 5 are below 9 so our api is also now ready let's add view j so because view and django both uses same delimiters delimiters what you can call django and view both uses this type of syntax to render html for that we have to use change the delimiter for that uh, for view and we will i got this answer from stack overflow i will paste again paste the link for this for the same and we can use this one so we can create a script tag okay script and uh, new uh, is equal to new of view and uh, this one is looking fine to me and we have to create a div id of app over here and just <coughs> cop uh, close the div and i hope everything's working fine open a console so a uh, view is run now running so we can remove uh, um, the things which we are not using okay and let's just make uh, html good and we can use to test which a uh, view is running or not we can add a uh, a uh, task okay let's again rerun this page so uh, items are also coming so now we have to add a v model over here and v model over here so this will return the what we can say we can add a v model over here to bind the property so it will add a pin code we will add we have to add a pin code over here mm, it should be pin code and uh, over here for the v model of kilometer is equal to km and uh, and uh, we have to add this one uh, over here okay so km will be of null again it should be this one so kilometer will be here and uh, pin code will be over here so if there is pin code and we have to again fetch the elements so a uh, restaurant will be restaurants equal will be a list uh, or the array and we only have to loop over this we call v for is equal to restaurant in restaurant and uh, let's do this thing first and uh, again on click
we click as we are using uh, get this okay so we can create a new function over here get uh, function created let's add over here methods console dot log again let's just reload our page fail week on click uh, it should be what should be we on it should be this one okay again reload our page and if we click this one that says okay so our api and if we got this one if pin code equal equal to this we just written alert pin code cannot be null pin code cannot be null okay and we just return from here and if there is a pin code then we just fetch slash api slash with a pin code query string pin code and we can use template literal over here uh, pin code will be this dot uh, pin code hmm. fetch this dot pin code uh, again we can add dot then dot uh, then dot then result equal to result uh, dot json and again dot then response is equal to response console dot log dot log response okay so let's reload our page and uh, test this one out please are uh, 22 60 20 and uh, just hit this one uh, pin code is not defined this dot pin code what pin code is not defined data return this one again pin code is not defined where it is giving pin code is not defined we on handler uh, we model pin code mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. what can I add it over here pin code if let's see we dot model let's check uh, our model functionality is working or not so this one is working then why it is not giving uh, we model of pin code and if click if oh this should be this dot pin code okay so my mistake let's again reload our page and uh, let's write 22 and just hit this one uh, then is not defined oh my god so many errors again reload our page again same step 226020 20 and just hit submit uncaught uh, uncaught token is not missing json what's the error over there? not found api uh, i thought the api slash pin code uh, what's the error now slash api there is an api so already it should be api slash get api slash get again mistake again same step 226020 20 and uh, hit submit this time we should get data data and we got it okay so once we are getting the data then we can load it into our this dot uh, 
restaurant is equal to response okay so response and we are looping through it and we can add the name over here okay v4 we have added that to then what we can access it by restaurant dot name okay and uh, for image we have to use this one okay and uh, it should be the stone dot uh, what's the key it's, it's the key of image and uh, for this one we can add a restaurant dot uh, what's the key again the key is description and the distance is what uh, it's not it's distance again we can add a key restaurant dot this the distance okay so what we can do over here is if we are adding a distance we can uh, type cast into a int and uh, we can this will make more sense so again reload our page forget to save always forget don't forget to save your code after you change something so we hit the api and record the response we got these many responses so what we can do is we can add a substring method over here which will restrict uh, of your which will dot sub string of 0 to uh, 40 it's it's nice to have for 22 60 20 and again if we will search so it just give these many of the stone and if we restrict the 2 3 it should make more sense so 22 60 20 and if we search so these many these are the kilometers 0 kilometer away 23 kilometer 2 kilometer 5 kilometer and for image we can restrict again restrict the image so for the we can style is equal to height of 100 px is more is enough 22 60 20 so i think uh her style of height it's uh i think it's working fine now we have to add a kilometer over here so for this we can add an option uh it should be selected okay and uh, choose So if there is a kilometer we can add definitely add a kilometer over here okay so kilometer uh, where is the API this one and then add km equal to this dot km okay that's again 22 60 20 and km will be this time 2 kilometer and if we hit the API though this only give the two kilometer away and I think the style is also now working and we can definitely improve our styling so 226020 and a kilometer will be this time three kilometer so I think <laughs> there is only one restaurant spicy restaurant and you can definitely add more kilometers if I add uh, something of nine kilometer okay and again reload our page and we can remove this pin code from over here so 22 60 20 and uh, pin code is 22 60 20 
my pin code and just get the restaurant which are around 9 km from this particular pin code so we can search and we got these many restaurants available in your uh, area in your kilometer 5012 so you can definitely create that the code the code will be in the description section the github repository link will be in the description section enjoy this code most thing don't forget to subscribe my channel because i add great videos great great django project videos so definitely uh, subscribe my channel